some place around the world and I'll, I'll get someone to come up and say, you know, I was there. And I'm like, you were actually like, where? You know, and he was like, oh, I was in the stadium watching. And I'm like, you know, how is that possible? Twenty-five years ago, Michael Chang shocked the world when he won the French Open at age 17. I don't feel like it's that really defining as far as like, you know, who I am. I think it's probably what a lot of people will remember me for, you know, 1989 French Open champion. The pivotal match came in the fourth round when he faced the heavy favorite, Yvonne Lendl, three-time French Open champion and number one in the world. I'm not the biggest guy out there. Um, there aren't hardly any Asians out there playing. I'm not a typical tennis player. I'm 17 years old, I'm 135 pounds. It just doesn't happen. Code violation to Merv game. Warning, Mr. Chang. Chang was down two sets to love and experiencing painful leg cramps. Started looping balls and, and then I think obviously figured out that I was strugg struggling physically. Why he didn't necessarily start drop shotting me, angling me, you know, making me run corner to corner, I'm, I'm not really sure. I think his mentality was, well, I'm just going to keep him out here until he just keels over and can't play anymore. At 2-1 in the fifth set, I started to kind of compromise in my mentality. I started thinking to myself, well, I, I, who am I kidding? I'm not going to win this match. So I started thinking to myself, you know, if I quit now, it's, it's actually not a bad day. You know, I'm 17 years old. I'm taking the number one player in the world to five sets. I'm on center court at Roland Garros. And I started walking to Chair Empire, and I get to the service line, and I just have an unbelievable conviction of heart. And it dawned on me that if I were to quit then, I'm going to quit again. Do I really want to be known for this? In the fifth, strangely enough, I have a more difficult time holding my serve than breaking it. I'm about to lose my serve again. And then it dawns on me that I got to do something different. Just spur of the moment, I decided I'm just going to hit an underhand serve here. So I served it in the middle, but it still had the spin. He comes in to, to hit a forehand, and he's so far in the court that you know he gets squeezed because of the spin on it but he has to come in and I line up to hit a passing shot I hit it up the line and lo and behold it it clips off the top of the of the net and off the top of his racket and from there I think it just became a really huge mental battle for for Yvonne. Chang defeated Lendl in one of the most memorable matches in the history of the French Open. I have never talked to Yvonne about the French Open. Um, I don't, don't plan to. <laughs> Later on, Chang beat Stefan Edberg in the final to become the youngest men's singles champion of any Grand Slam event and the first American winner since 1955. 17-year-old Michael Chang of the United States has won. It would be the only Grand Slam title of his career. In all of my memories and, and growing up and pretending that I was playing against the best players in the world in, in my basement in, in Minnesota. Sometimes you think that you have these dreams, but then uh, I'm one of the few lucky ones that was able to live it. <laughs>